Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Luna here today and today I'm actually going to be reading your comments, questions, and assumptions. So I left you guys a questions box on my Instagram and I asked you guys to drop in any of these three and I got quite a lot of responses so I'm sorry if I don't read yours but I will try to read as much as possible. So before we talk too much, let's just get right into the video. Our first question is by Phoebe Pinkmoon, which is, what made you want to start YouTube? So I started YouTube a long time ago, so I don't exactly remember the reasons that I originally picked it, but thinking back to it now, I think it was just because I enjoyed being like a creator and I thought making YouTube videos for, for Star Stable would be really interesting for me and just be like a fun pastime. I don't think I watched any Star Stable YouTubers at the time, but I did watch some other YouTubers, so I think that's how I started. Ava Diamond Clover asks, how many siblings do you have? And I actually have only one, and it is a younger sister, who was, who was actually in my last video. Tiffany Peaceheart asks, what is my biggest fear? My actual biggest fear... Honestly, I used to be scared of the dentist for the longest time, but I got over that. Um, I think my biggest fear currently, like I'm scared of the dark, so, like when I'm alone. I don't like being outside in the dark. I'm fine with being in my house in the dark, but just not outside. And I also don't really, like I feel really uneasy hiking because a fun fact is I actually got chased by a bear when I was hiking and it was like a near death experience. So I was like, when I'm hiking and there's like any chance of there being a wild animal there, like I get so scared. So yeah, those are probably my two biggest fears right now. Willow underscore Hawk Talon comments. You're actually a zebra. You didn't, you didn't, oh, that like got me tripped up because she spelled it wrong by accident. You're actually a zebra. You didn't hear it from me though. Yeah, guys, I'm actually a zebra, like secretly. That's why I'm Luna Zebra Forest. Like, you know, if you travel, if you travel into the depths of the Yorvik Forest, you will actually find a zebra forest, which is where my people live. So go ahead and search for that. New Star Stable update, by the way. Spoiler. Okay. Elizabeth Dog Daughter asks, if you could travel to the past, where's, what's one thing you would do? Huh. I mean, there's always like those little things that you want to change, like a conversation you said the wrong thing to, but like those aren't really a big deal. I don't think they really like affect anything, but what I would honestly do is I would start horseback riding when I was little because I loved horses when I was little, but I, I played like other sports, but I really wish I'd started horseback riding earlier because I would have like, I don't know, like I'm old for my skill level because like I, I just started back again like not this summer but last summer so like I would have been better if I had started earlier and now I'm like the oldest in all my groups because I started late so I just wish I could start earlier because that was something I would have wanted to do when I was younger. Um, Avery.the.crazy.unicorn asks, you like to judge people in your spare time. Love your edits by the way. Thank you. Um, actually, I don't, I mean, everyone kind of, like, when they first see someone, they're like, oh, this person, but I don't actually, like, meaningfully judge people, because everyone kind of is unique, and it's not really, that, I don't know, it's not really something I do. Like, I'll look on Star Sable, and if someone's wearing, like, a funky outfit, I'll be like, ha ha, that's, like, funny, but, like, I won't actually, like, comment on, like, oh, that person's outfit's gross, because, like, you should have seen me in my noob times. <laughs> Montana underscore Pappy Born asks, if you had on, if you had to only ride one of your horses for the rest of your life on Star Stable, of course, then which horse? Huh. Well, I mean, if the whole quest thing where you could only ride your starter horse wasn't there, then I would honestly, hmm. I mean, I love this horse, but I also love like my Trakener. Um. So either this horse or my Trakener, to be completely honest, but I also love my starter horse, so one of those three. 
The Star Squad fan page says, please read this, hee hee, why are you such an angel? Like, oh my gosh. She's literally so adorable and she makes the best Star Stable edit, so go ahead and follow her. Um, she also asks, oh, and what breed is your least favorite in Star Stable and why? So, um, if you probably know, I'm not a huge fan of the old models, like excluding um, this horse because they have like really cool coats. But if it wasn't, I mean, the old model ponies were kind of not cutting it, in my opinion. But if it wasn't an old model horse, I would have to say, I mean, the Andalusians, like, I mean, they're probably going to update them soon, but they're not an old model yet since they're not updated. So I would say the Andalusians because they just kind of look quirky and I don't know, I've never really liked them. Gabrielle underscore Disco Field asks, <laughs> do you even lift bro bagel um i actually do lift i do weight so fight me um <clears throat> rachel fastry says you are smart well yes i actually i mean i can't just say i'm smart that's just kind of weird but like yeah i get all a's so whatever that means to you um zoe moon street um, says, how are you so good at drawing? Your photos are s so amazing and adorable. Thank you so much. Um, I actually, like, I put on my Instagram story, like, I think yesterday or two days ago, my first ever edit, and let me just say, it, it needed a lot of work. So, um, yeah, just like keep practicing, you will keep improving, even to, even if it doesn't look like you're improving, you are, because just keep trying new things and never give up, because my first edit started out as trash, and then I just continued to work on it, and it got better and better. SSO underscore Melinda underscore says, have a favorite soul rider, Luna. Um, let me see. Like, I... I don't honestly know the Soul Riders well enough to choose because I know we have quests because um, I'm kind of bad and I don't always read all of them. Um, I read most of the Soul Rider ones though, but I would say um, I think I'm closest to Alex because she kind of seems like more the relaxed type of person who just kind of like chills all day. Um, I think I would... It's like Alex and Tin Can, so I think that would be me, but I honestly don't even know. Like, they're all kind of, like, they, I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Alessia Crazy Forest asks, your hair is blonde in real life. I actually had a couple questions asking this, and no, my hair is actually brown in real life. Um, I do love blonde hair, though, and I think it just looks better on my character than brown hair. Cadence? Hood no. Okay, I think I pronounced that wrong. Asked, you ride in real life? Yes, I actually do ride in real life. I um, am not that advanced because I only do it once a week, but it is super fun and I'm hoping I get better. Santa Starrock asks, did you make your Star Stable character look like you, IRL? P.S. I love you, Liv. Um, I actually... My first Star Stable character, I definitely made look like me, except I did... I think I started out with blonde hair, to be completely honest. I don't know why I chose blonde. I think... I, I just always loved, like, my younger sister has blonde hair. So I just all, always loved that. But I actually... Um, I had green eyes, like my... Like, my first character had green eyes, like me. And then I, I think it made it, like, a lot like me. I tried to, like, do freckles and stuff like that. And, yeah, I just... I think I tried to make it look a lot like me. But I changed my characters... Um, look and I have gray eyes so I don't really look like myself anymore but that's still fine. Donna Stoneheart says you have an IBFF so first off I have a I have um I have a best friend on Star Stable and real life I mean I have a lot of friends on Star Stable and I have a lot of friends in real life but my best friend um, in real life is actually Lucy Pureheart who plays Star Stable um, and then my best friend in Star Stable would probably be, I honestly don't even know, like there's a lot of people. Um, Piper Pandafall assumes TSS is your life and all your besties are in it. 
actually yes tss is my life on star stable it is everyone's so nice and super like i just love them all and plus my one year is coming up april 1st stay tuned for that um but actually actually wow actually none of my best friends on star stable are in tss even though i have really good friends in tss none of my actual star stable best friends are in the club currently which is sad but hopefully they get in soon she also says um you are too good for this universe and thank you so much i try to be positive and i like i've always been like a positive person and i i don't know i just i'm glad it comes off like that rajan airs <laughs> Literally, I probably said that wrong. Um, you are a secret fan of BTS. To be completely honest, like, I don't even know any of their songs. Like, one of my friends um, last year had, like, was a huge fan. She even sent me, like, a picture of John Cook or something. I think that's what his name is. Um, for, like, my birthday, because she wanted me to get, like, she wanted me to get into BSS. Uh, she wanted me to get into, like, the whole music of them or whatever. But, um, I don't know, I've never been a fan just because I can't, like, I mean, their songs are probably good. And I, I've heard their dancing is, but, like, I kind of don't like it when I can't understand what they're saying, like, to be completely honest. So, actually, no, I'm not a fan of BTS. Montana Fireweb says, you're actually a tuba. You're actually a tuna who plays the tuba and lives in a tuna can. You got that spot on. Good job. I have one more and this is going to be the last one I'm answering. Oh, Brighton Bull Pups asks, you are rich. Um, um, I say, uh, um, I don't know how to answer this. In Star Stable, definitely not. Like, I am poor. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was a lot of fun to make and I'm so sorry if I didn't answer your question, comments, or assumption, but I had quite a lot to answer. But I, I might make another one in the future, so if you didn't get the chance to ask one or if yours wasn't answered, you'll be able to um, get in one of my videos in the future, possibly. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that notification button if you want to know when all my other videos are getting uploaded. Also, if you haven't already, go follow my Star Stable Instagram at LunaZebraForest. Bye guys!